Hey there, Smoke Master D coming at you with another episode of Barbecue Buyer's Guide. This time for 55 gallon drum smokers. I have a previous drum smoker episode, but shortly after making it, I realized, was notified actually, that um, I had left out several makers' drum smokers. Jason Marinin, godfather of drum smokers, this one's for you. All right, and we've got chapter times here, so feel free to skip ahead if you would like to. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your support. All right, and we're going to start off with this map uh, of where the smoker companies are located. Sometimes for these smoker companies, your proximity to them matters uh, for how much you're going to pay in shipping. Um, a lot of these companies, or several of them anyway, have flat shipping rates, and I'll tell you which ones. Whenever you can pick it up from the company itself, you're going to save some money. So um, if you live close to these, maybe that can help you out. Uh, you know, and if we start up there at the very top, we have Double O Drum Co. It's in the Chicago area. Uh, Cotton Gin Smokers in Niles, Michigan. Uh, Buckeye Smokers in Wooster, Ohio. Uh, then we come down here to Hunsaker, or Hunsacker, whichever it may be, and they are out of Columbia, Missouri. Also in Missouri is Gateway Drum Smokers, uh, and if you're going to get any discount there, it's probably going to be at a dealership uh, rather from the company itself. Uh, and then if we go further south, we've got Uncle Pokey uh, in Memphis, Tennessee, and then Champion Drum Smokers in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, I tried to find some, some makers out west in the United States. I found uh, not-so-ugly drum smokers in Madeira, California. I couldn't get them to reply to any of my, my messages. They have a Facebook page, um, but I just couldn't get enough information from them to include them, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and, you know, as soon as I put this out there, somebody's probably going to put down in the messages a great drum smoker maker out there in, in the Western United States. So wish I had that information right now, but I don't. Sorry. All right. So we're going to start with the Cotton Gin Smokers. They have a flat $90 shipping, uh, which is actually pretty good. It's on the good side. Um, you know, maybe they build some of the costs into the smokers themselves, uh, but 90 is, is good. So we go down there to the bottom with that sower and it's 885. The reaper to the left is 959. And then the harvester, uh, their premium is 1399. The cotton gin website sells the tribal fire grill that can be used on drum smokers um, if you want to find out more about it, look it up. That's all the time I want to spend on that. All right, so, um, you know, I have each one represented there. The sewer on the left, it comes with the lid hook, lid handle, round charcoal basket you see in that picture up top, heat shield, and the baffle plate, which I'll discuss a little bit more in a second. Wire grate, um, the color choices are red, blue, black, and tan, tan being the one at the top, um, stainless steel sliding intake. You know, you just slide that plate over and it covers uh, more of the intake or you slide it back. Then uh, we've got the Reaper in the middle uh, and there's going to be an addition of three casters. It's going to replace that sliding intake with the two stubby intakes. Uh, you know, they're going to be a little bit more spread out, which hopefully is going to create a uh, and more even heat in inside with more even air intake. Uh, and then a laser cut cotton gin smoker grate. And uh, I don't think I have that pictured. Now, lastly, the harvester, $13.99. Side handles are added. Front door access. You see the door down at the bottom there. Stainless steel hinge. So this is the only one from cotton gin with the hinge. And also, it's going to have uh, three levels. It's going to have a three-level system as well as a rib hanger, um, you know, so you can hang your ribs or other meat. Uh, it's a really great option. And it's also going to have, lastly, those two upright intakes, those uh, longer tubes there. Uh, so it's going to be easier to get to them at the top. Now, I told you I was going to talk about that baffle plate. So I saw a video from Fogo. 
which uh, they make charcoal. And uh, I'm going to link their video here. But uh, they bought themselves the harvester. And it has, uh, you know, this baffle plate that looks like, you know, sickles going around, which really ties in very well with the theme of this cotton gin company. You know, they're reaping and, and using, I guess, farm equipment. Uh, so having like a sickle design there is pretty cool. But the one thing is, is in this video, they're cooking these tomahawk steaks and the grease goes down on this baffle plate and catches fire, um, you know, and, and in the beginning of the video, they were talking about the baffle plate being something that's going to keep, uh, you know, the flare ups from reaching the meat. And in this instance, it, it really seemed like that baffle plate fails uh, for that that purpose. Now, at the end of their episode, they take those steaks down and they throw them on top of the baffle plate uh, to sear them on the plate. So, uh, you know, it seemed like it worked better for searing than it did for uh, protecting the meat from flare ups. So, you know, these baffle plates, a lot of the ones I've seen before now just have, you know, holes all over them. This one seems to have the fewest holes. Uh, or ratio of plate to to hold that I've seen. And I'm wondering if it's just trying to do too much there in trying to be a searing plate as well. So I have my reservations about it. If you have this plate, uh, you know, comment below. Does it uh, frequently have grease fires on it? Um, let us know. And now we're going to Un Uncle Pookie. Uncle Pookie's Smokers. Um, and He's got $599.99 shipping included. Woo! Now, the one thing that you could pay more for is that dolly. Um, the dolly with the wheels. If you'd like to add that, it's $69.99. Now, if you go to his website right now, it's going to show that he's out of stock on both of these things. Uh, but the truth is, he's in the works of getting some more. So if you message him, um, he will definitely sell you the Uncle Pookie Smoker, and I also believe the Dolly, too, as soon as they come in, which, from what I understand, is going to be really soon. Now, some of the features on the Uncle Pookie Smoker include that heavy-duty charcoal basket. You know, it's square there. Uh, if you go down, uh, you see there's, there's a little space for, you know, ashes to fall through, so it's going to catch the ashes. And one side of, of that bottom ash catcher is is open so that you can tip it to the side and dump ashes out as need be during your cook. When he sends you this smoker, it's going to come with two grates. And on one of the grates, he's going to have this uh, pizza pan that has holes in it to use as a heat deflector slash baffle plate. Okay. It's got quite a few holes there. Um, you know, uh, I think maybe more holes than the previous baffle plate we looked at. Um, so hopefully, uh, you know, either the grease is going to vaporize when it hits it or uh, if it does fall through, you know, hopefully the flaring and the fire won't reach the meat for this one. Uh, you got that two inch pipe. Apparently at one time he used uh, dual pipes, but found that this two inch pipe really worked better, according to, to one of his videos that I watched. Uh, if you look over to the left, you're going to see that there's two pegs there. Those are the two different levels um, that you can put grates on. Also, you know, he uses the lip um, on the teardrop shaped damper as sort of a lid hook. Uh, and apparently when you do it and have it facing out, the condensation on top is going to run away from uh, the barrel, you know, drop down that side and not get on the barrel. So apparently that's a good thing there. One other thing that I should mention is that the drums that he uses are reconditioned, which means that they've been used for something else. I'm sure they get inspected, you know, to make sure that they can be used in other applications and then they're sold. So he doesn't know exactly what kind of drums he's going to be getting, just that, you know, they will work for his purposes and the savings that he gets there, he's going to pass along to you uh, with a product that is is cheaper that way. So um, just something to keep in mind. Some of these Uncle Pookie smokers may have 
a few uh, love marks on them. Um, and I guess that is is normal. All right, Double O Drumco up in Chicago. Uh, the price, the base price is $899.99. As you can see, there's a few um, extras that you can get from this com company. Um, but the base stuff is the three intakes, two exhausts, a hexagon fire basket, which they didn't have a picture of the hexagon fire basket, which is a little unfortunate because I would have liked to have seen one. Um, three rack positions, four ball bearing casters that are uh, nestled kind of up under there. No other drum smoker that we've seen has two exhausts. No other that I've seen ever, actually. And no other one that I've ever seen has three intakes. Now, they call this middle one the Hotshot Venturi Tube. Now, if you look up Venturi and the Venturi effect, what it is is, is this. Um, whenever you have a liquid or a gas passing through a confined space, if um, that space becomes more confined, the velocity of the uh, gas or liquid increases. Now, to get a picture of this, you know, you have like uh, a water hose. And if you put your thumb down in the water hose, all of a sudden, the water is going to be shooting out like a geyser, right? So by uh, decreasing the space that the water has to go through, the velocity of the water you know, increases many times over. So this middle tube, they're basically doing the same thing somehow. You know, I'm not entirely sure how they, how it all works, but apparently there must be some point in that tube that is constricted to increase the velocity of the air that is being pushed in there. So they're really trying to up the convection cooking that they're doing in this by having that extra um, intake tube and the extra exhaust. So you should expect a whole lot of airflow through the Double O Drumco smoker. For extras, they have these weather guards. I believe that they have weather guards for um, the intakes as well. And I'm not sure if those are added for the $79. I um, mean, you, you'd have to ask them. But you know, at top, uh, if you don't want rain going into your your drum smoker, you know, uh, that's that's the fix there on um, these weather guards. They have the side shelf for ninety nine dollars. And uh, as you see at the bottom, you can get a stainless steel side shelf for even more one thirty four. And lastly, they have a heat diffuser for ninety nine dollars. And if you look at it, you can see the tabs there. Now, what you do is you take a screwdriver and put it in that little hole. And you can push those tabs out or in, I guess, uh, to create more space. Now, when I first saw this, I asked them, you know, if you move the position of the tabs uh, too frequently, you know, are those tabs going to break off? They said that that hadn't been a problem uh, yet, I guess. Uh, I think a lot of people just kind of move them to, to wherever they want and sort of leave them. Um, I suppose that, you know, when you have it where you want it, maybe you don't change change that a lot. Uh, so now, lastly, their colors, satin black, gloss black, red, blue, silver, and orange. And there's the orange there. As you can also see, you can get custom paint jobs from them, uh, but you're going to have to contact them for that. All right, now Buckeye Smokers. So, uh, I've had a little trouble getting them to respond to me via email. Uh, I I have seen that they've been posting a lot on Facebook, so they are there. Uh, right now, they have a sale price of $100 off. You know, I'm not sure when that's going to end, but right now, they're standard smokers, $499.99. And the upgraded over there is $699.99. And on the standard, you get the laser cut grate. Um, charcoal basket with the ash pan, uh, which you see pictured up top. Uh, the square upright intakes and one round exhaust. Now, the funny thing about these pictures is sometimes they don't get exactly what they say in, in you know, the descriptions. Like, this has a square exhaust. Um, so, I don't know if that's an upgrade or what, really. Um, I, I figured that this was a picture of the standard but without the round exhaust, I don't know. Uh, three inch barbecue thermometer, 
side and lid handles, uh, lid hook, equipment hooks. Now, one thing that I was really interested in is, are these equipment hooks, are they rib hangers? If they're not, I really don't know what they are. Stainless steel hardware and the probe grommet. You want a probe grommet. Probes are good. Okay, now the upgraded, uh, you know, you get to choose round or flat. Uh, you get an extra grate. Um, you get the lid hinge, you know, so you don't need that lid hook anymore. You get the heat diffuser. Uh, that picture up top was on their website, and it looks like exactly the same heat diffuser that, um, you know, they had for the cotton gin smoker. I'm not sure about that or, or how that happened. Lava Lock seems to have made that laser cut great on their website. I'm not sure if Lava Lock makes, uh, you know, that heat diffuser as well. Um, it's a question. Uh, if you know, put it in the comments below. And then uh, lastly, they have that uh, thermometer holder. So see that pictured up top as well. Um, and then they have some premium add-ons. Cold ore there, steel for $94.99 or stainless for $144.99. Then they have the wheel and axle set up for $114.99. All right, and now on to Champion Smokers in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. They have a flat $250 shipping rate. Um, their large there is for $750. The Pro Series, $1150. And the Custom Pro Competition Series, $1399. Now, there is a lot that I like about these champion smokers, uh, but let's take a closer look. So, um, the large, you get two cooking grates, uh, 12 by 12 charcoal basket, um, the powder coated drum, and uh, premium parts, uh, two inch caster wheels. So, there are casters underneath that, um, that smoker that you see up there, just not very visible. Um, and then for the large, you have a whole lot of upgrade options, including that lid hinge for 35, long upright intakes for 100, rib hangers for 45, the custom tool hanger for 35, um, and then a custom cooking grate for 150. Now, the Vortex grilling attachment for $40, you see it's that dome with uh, all that charcoal in it. So apparently you can set that up in the smoker and use it as a charcoal grill uh you know just 40 dollars extra uh if you want a smooth drum instead of a ribbed one it's 50 extra and uh if you want two different uh themes or designs it's 75 now when we take a look at the pro series over here for 1150 uh they've upgraded the handles and you can see that at the bottom you know middle left there um, the different handles and the different grommets for the probes, um, upgraded therm thermometer mount, um, upgraded caster mounts. Now, I like these caster mounts in that they are off of the body of the drum smoker, so it gives you sort of a wider base. So when you're wheeling this thing around, it's going to you know be a little bit more stable. Um, so stability, I like. The uh, long intake tubes are included. The... Uh, rib hangers are included the heat shield is also included and you can see that up above um, the block off plate is included not entirely sure what the block off plate is um, but the diffuser plate is also included and i'm hoping that the diffuser plate is that tuning plate that you see above top right um, but if you do buy this thing uh double check on that if you go to the pro competition series we got the cool touch spring handles a heat shield system which we already talked about or, or saw there to the left the 10 inch big wheel setup um you know the the wheels i think the same ones that the uh, the buckeye smoker people used are very similar at least rear ha uh pull handle you can see that there above the cold door um two cooking grates and the uh, bottle opener, and you see that uh, access door. One thing that really don't care for is how much of the heat shield is taking up the door. Um, yeah, pretty much half of it. Uh, so that does not seem terribly good to me. 
Um, you know, we saw the Cotton Gin one. The door was a lot higher on the drum. Um, I guess really they wanted to get that handle in, which is above the door. And then, then on the other side have the art. Um, now, I didn't mention it before, but the Cotton Gin smokers do have art that you can pay extra for. And usually it is on the the front of the access door itself in, in what I've seen on Facebook. Seems like the stylistic choice there of having, uh, you know, a larger space on the drum is sort of affecting the placement of this charcoal door in a way that really is is not as good, in my opinion. So, um, you know, and these smokers are custom made. So if you're buying one from uh, Champion Drum Smokers, you can probably ask them to change that for you, uh, you know, so... Now, um, so the Vortex smokers from Hunsacker. A lot that I like from Hunsacker. The price, $7.99, is it's a pretty good one, especially for what you get. You know, uh, extra 50 for gloss colors instead of the flat colors. The gloss uh, black, red, and blue. Uh, an extra 50 for an extra rack. An extra 50 for a logo plate, which you see at the bottom left. Now, it comes with a lot of great stuff, including, um, you know, the wheels and uh, the locking caster at the front, including the rib hanger that you see, um, the, the system there of hanging the grates at different levels, the Vortex charcoal basket. Uh, you see it has that propeller uh, shape design at the top. So when the heat is coming out, I guess the way that they're thinking about it is those propel that propeller shape is going to make it swirl up around you know your meat uh, especially if it's hanging there also i suppose if it's on the racks uh but increasing that convection heating uh and even out the heat throughout the barrel <coughs> so really a, a great system also you know if you're thinking about that grease fire that uh we saw in the fogo video Hopefully, you know, the, the juices and grease is going to vaporize when it hits that um, propeller shaped plate there. But if not, it's going to run down and go into the charcoal, which is going to flare. But I think it's going to get blocked by, uh, you know, the plate above. Uh, I really admire the design of this diffuser plate. Uh, I think it's it's very good design. Now, up top, you see if you um, use the, the lid, you can swing down that little notch to keep the door open. Uh, that is the, the Vortex. Uh, and the next page, we're going to see that they have a lot of accessories you can get. Hunsacker, they're very good with accessories. All right, so, um, you know, the rib hanger there for $60. Why did I put this on there if it's already, uh, you know, it comes with it? Uh, the reason is, if you get another smoker, and you wanted to buy this rib hanger, maybe it doesn't come with one, uh, you can get it for 60 bucks, and they'll ship it out to you. Uh, specifically, I was thinking of the uh, Uncle Pookie, you know? Uh, I guess you'd want to space it out to see how tall it is. But if I were going to get it, uh, you know, I would think about getting this rib hanger to go with it. That's just my thoughts. So, uh, second, though, we have this hybrid hanger uh, rack for $99. So you see that you can you can put a hanger there and swing down part of the grate if you want to, you know, be cooking something on the grate as well as hanging something. I have a, a grate that has that door for my uh, pit barrel cooker. Uh, now, if you look at the Versa hanging rack, you will notice that um, the hangers there in the middle can be pushed one side to the other. So say that you have a really big piece of meat that needs more space in the barrel. You know, you can have that over to the one side. You can have like two different rib racks that are, uh, you know, a little bit closer together on the other side. You can push those, uh, you know, however you need to make, make the space work for you. Uh, they have a griddle plate for $100. Um, you know, I don't really think of, uh, you know, frying up some pancakes when I think of drum smokers. But if that's what you want to do, hey, there it is. Now, their holder for uh, probe thermometers is $25. Looks pretty specific to the handle on their smoker. So it's not something that you're going to be able to just, you know, put on 
a different kind of smoker, unfortunately. That stainless steel grate for $59.99, that's nice. Uh, stainless steel, very nice. Uh, the stainless steel meat basket. I have puzzled this thing over in my head a few times. I didn't find any YouTube videos on this. If you have one of these things, make a YouTube video. This thing confuses me. Uh, apparently, there's dividers and there's those, you know, hooks or uh, or bars or uh, you know rods. Somehow, you put this contraption together to to cook meat. I guess hanging somehow. I, I do not know how it works. If you do, put it in the comments below. Show pictures. That would help. Um, then the bub cage for twenty two dollars. Apparently, you know, this goes right into that charcoal basket it has a rod up the middle of it and you put this uh you know it has that little little space there in the middle you put it right over the rod then according to hunsacker's video you know they have on youtube you put a wood block on the larger side in the larger cavity and then a fire starter one of those wax cubes in the other side and you light the wax cube and then put the charcoal in all around the whole contraption the charcoal lights and eventually gets around to the wood, um, the wood chunk. So the bub cage. A gateway drum smoker I covered this in the last episode. So let's go through it pretty quickly. Uh, straight up for $7.99. So that's going to be the flat colors. Then the gloss colors, the sizzle for $8.99. Three positions for the grates. Double intake tubes with dampers and exhaust tube up top. Uh, $95 of flat shipping cost. All right, so we got, uh, you know, see that there again. It comes with those caster wheels on the bottom. Only one rack if you want the extra grate. It's $32. Clean out tool, $49. Rib hangers, $49. That side table cutting board, $79. The diffuser plate for $79. And the cover for $79 as well. Okay, and now the Bronco Pro drum smoker. Uh, in my last episode on drum smokers, I estimated the volume to be somewhere around 45. I imagine uh, without the top that 45 would be accurate. With the top, I'm thinking it's actually a 55 uh, gallon smoker. I think that uh, my estimate on the last episode was wrong. I'm sorry. Make mistakes here and there. Uh, and I think that was one of them. So... Um, if you want the black one on Amazon, uh, it's $699.99. The orange one is ridiculously priced, like two or three times higher than that. Don't don't get that. Uh, I'm going to have an uh, Amazon affiliate link down in the description. If you want the Bronco Pro, uh, please use that link uh, before purchase, and they'll send me a little bit of money. Uh, you know, it is a great drum smoker. I hope that you have been inspired by some of the other ones that I've been showing you today and how, uh, you know, innovative uh, their designs are, uh, the craftsmanship uh, from, you know, local people, small businessmen, uh, and, and maybe women, you know. Uh, so hopefully you like some of those as well. But if you are going to get this one, I do have that link there in the description. Um, you can configure it as a grill. It's got those nice wheels and push bar. It's got the shelf. Uh, comes with the heat diffuser. Um, the the nine meat hooks there uh, on those uh, little hangers. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a pretty solid smoker. Very thick metal. Yeah, the accessories uh, not so great. It's special that uh, that triple grate. I'm not sure that anybody really likes that thing. Uh, if you want different sear marks on your uh, your meat, you can uh, change it around to different places on that grate. Um, and you have to get those extra brackets uh, to, to fit it because um, it's actually the sized for, for the smaller Bronco. Cover for $45. And now for Grill v. Grill. All right, so we've got the large... Champion Smoker versus the Hunsacker Vortex versus the Buckeye Standard versus the Uncle Pookie. And lastly, the Cotton Gin Sower. So these are either bargain or standard or, you know, base smokers in these collections. Um, but very good ones, I think. 
All right. And there we start off with the prices. Uh, you know, you can see those prices there. Uh, and the best price is that sale price on the Buckeye for $499.99 uh, there. All right. Now, the shipping cost. Whoo! Buckeye sure doesn't win in, in shipping there. Um, and I'm not sure if that 450 is just to me in North Carolina. Um, did uh, the website know where I was to put that 450 there? I do not know. Um, you know, go on the website and see if it gives you a, a smaller number than that. Uh, yeah, anytime um, shipping is nearing the price of the smoker itself, I tend to question uh, whether I should get it or not. Um, so, yeah. Um, if you add that on, um, yeah, shipping included much better there for Mr. Uncle Pookie. Uh, his real name's Mike. I think one of his grandchildren named him Uncle Pookie. So, yeah. So if you add in, in those costs, um, you see that the Uncle Pookie definitely would win for me, at least where I am a little further South. Maybe if you're uh, really close, uh, it's a better deal. If you live up there in um, the Buckeye State. All right. See those other prices. You know, the highest one there is the champion. Yeah, down from that, you have um, the Buckeye, ironically enough, then uh, the Sower, and then the Hunsacker. And of course, our winner in that category, Mr. Uncle Pookie. Okay, and now for the intakes uh, two stubs, foot intake, um, two square pipe intakes, one round pipe intake for Uncle Pookie and one slide intake. Yeah, I gave out a few different awards here. Gold for uh, the two square pipe intake and the the one round um, two inch pipe intake. Uh, the foot intake, you know, if you can manage it pretty well with your foot, silver, bronze for the two stub intakes, nothing for the cotton gin. Uh, you know, I'm not a fan of that stainless steel slide. Yeah, I'm not. All right, then uh, plus 45 for the hanger on the large, hanger included for the Vortex. Equipment hooks, um, again, they have not gotten back to me. <laughs> um, I've messaged them a lot, but they uh, they must be busy making their smokers. Um, plus 60 if you go uh, through Hunsacker on the Uncle Pookie. No option on Cotton Gin. Uh, they sell. Uh, you know, rib hangers. So if you called them up and said, hey, I want rib hangers with my sewer, they could probably make it happen. So I say no option, but really, there's probably an option. All right. And of course, uh, Hunsacker is going to win that one. $35 extra for the hinge there. Hinge lid standard on the Hunsacker. Um, no option for the Buckeye. Again, they have hinges, so you could probably work that out. Also on the cotton gin, um, probably not with Uncle Pookie unless he just has some hinges or, you know, uh, bought them. Um, and of course, you can buy your own hinge. So uh, something to think about. But uh, Hunsacker wins there as well. All right. No heat diffuser for uh, the large base. They do have a heat diffuser, so you could probably talk them into selling you one of those. Vortex plate uh, for the Hunsacker. I've already talked about how much I like that. Uh, no heat diffuser for the Buckeye Standard, although, uh, you know, they were selling that sickle one. Um, so you could probably somehow buy that. Converted pizza pan for Uncle Pookie. Uh, I like it. I don't know why. Maybe I shouldn't. It's homely. It's uh, It's got a certain sort of je ne sais quoi. I'm not sure what it is. I just like a converted pizza pan. Uh, yeah, I do. And uh, the heat shield and baffle um, for cotton gin that, you know, features that one that I saw from Fogo that uh, had the grease fire. Yep. Gave it to the Vortex plate. And silver for the converted pizza pan. Just because I like it. All right. Now, for the Pro Port, uh, I believe there is one for the champion. I don't think there is one for the Hunsacker. Strangely enough, I think that, especially with, um, you know, if you buy that holder that they want you to thread it through the exhaust, uh, there is a probe grommet for the Buckeye. No probe hoard that I know of for the Uncle Pookie. 
um, or for the cotton gin smoker. All right, so the Buckeye takes it there. Two greats for uh, the champion. $50 for the extra rack for Hunsacker. One laser cut great for the Buckeye. Two greats for Uncle Pookie. And one wire great for the Cotton Gin. Yep. Uncle Pookie and the large uh, champion take it. And silver for the laser cut Buckeye. <laughs> Lastly, we got casters. All right. So casters do come with a champion. Axel and locking caster for the Vortex. Um, an extra $114.99 for wheel and axle for the Buckeye. Uh, $69.99 for that dolly for uh, the Uncle Pookie. And then none for the Cotton Gin, although I'm sure uh, you could negotiate something with them uh, if they would do a custom job there for you if you wanted it. The Vortex is going to win there again. Um, so Vortex uh, and the Uncle Pookie, I believe, are the two winners overall. Um, runner up with the Buckeye. Um, I think after that, the champion and not a huge fan of the cotton gin. Uh, so, or at least. Okay. So um, here we go. Now we've got sort of the middle tier and uh, I decided to include the double O drum code there, the base model. If you can imagine it without that side shelf. Okay. Um, but we've also got the upgraded Buckeye and uh, the pro series champion drum smoker. And I threw in the gateway 55. All right, so we start with the prices. Um, $699.99 for the Buckeye with that sale price. Um, $899.99. Now, the thing is, I say the base model here, but I'm going to give you the price for the add-ons as well. So with all the add-ons that I'm going to talk about um, as we go through this section, it would be $998.99. Um, and that's included the tab baffle plate. eleven fifty dollars for the champion drum smoker. Then when we get over to the Gateway 55 at $7.99 flat uh, paint, $8.99 sizzle. Then with the options that I add, you know, $1,006 or $1,106 for the paint as well. And you'll see uh, those options as we go down. Okay, yeah. And of course, the, the sale price for that Buckeye is going to win. All right, no casters uh, for the Buckeye. Four casters on uh, the base model of the Drumco, double O Drumco. Uh, three inch casters and the mounts, uh, you know, that put them, you know, further out for that champion drum smoker and four casters under that gateway um, that I think you add once it comes in. And yeah, those mounts uh, giving you a wider base there definitely is going to win there for me. All right. Lid hinge, uh, except no lid hinge on the gateway 55. So, um, yeah. Um, side handles, the bar between the exhaust is the only handle I can see on the double O drum co the pro series has side handles. Um, the bar off of the exhaust is the only handle there on the gateway. Imagine some people might use, uh, the upright intakes as handles. Uh, but I'm not sure if that's such a good thing. All right. Three dampers. Uh, I basically did this one, uh, you know, I did, I gave, I did this to give props to the double O drum co, you know, it's got five dampers, including the Venturi one, you know, it wins, it wins for that. I think it's cool. Uh, hopefully it works well. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it inspires me. All right. So, um, of course, Buckeye never got back to me with, uh, the gauge of their, their smoker, uh, 18 gauge for uh double o drum co 16 gauge which is the heaviest in this uh, showing here for the champion drum smoker and 18 gauge for the gateway so the champion's going to take that all right never got uh whether those equipment hooks were rib hangers uh they don't do rib hangers as far as i know for the double o drum co of course if you wanted to get some from hunsacker hey there you go uh, rib hangers included for the champion and uh, $49 extra on the gateway. So it does cost more, but yeah, the chump champion sure has uh, has the goods. All right. Um, digital thermometer mount is included on the upgraded Buckeye. 
Uh, you know, if you want the side table there for $99, uh, I'm sure that'll hold your digital thermometer. Um, there's a digital thermometer mount for the champion, and you can get that side table cutting board for $79 uh, for the gateway. And yeah, the ones that have the mounts, they win. All right. Two greats. Uh, and I think it's probably two positions, but I wanted some clarification on that, and I didn't get it. One great and uh, three positions for the double O drum co two greats and two positions for the champion and one great with three positions for the gateway can really decide which was better one great and three positions or two greats with two positions. So I didn't give anybody any props for that one. All right. So um, I didn't know whether they had a heat shield for the Buckeye. Uh, no, on the double O drum co, you know, maybe all that uh, airflow makes it unnecessary. Not sure. Uh, heat shield included with the champion drum smoker. Uh, and also a heat shield comes with the Gateway 55. Uh, hopefully it's going to protect that paint. All right. And uh, I didn't give it to anybody there. But uh, the heat diffuser, yeah. Um, it does. I, I do think that they have that same sickle one for the Buckeye. Um, an extra 99 for that tab heat diffuser with uh, the double O drum co. And uh, then the tuning plate is included with that champion drum smoker. And I think it's, it's their tuning grate that swivels. I really like that. Um, I hope it is. I hope for the people who are getting um, that pro series champion drum smoker, that that's the one, um, you know, kind of looks like an X. Yeah. It's um, really, really nice looking. And then you have to buy the heat diffuser for the gateway if you want it, and it's $79. All right. Lastly here on this one, um, the price, including the shipping. So it's going to be $1149.99. Uh, that's including that $450 to North Carolina. Hopefully it's cheaper for you wherever you are. Uh, hopefully, you know, if you're in, in Ohio there, um, you can get it for a really good price. The, the Double O Drum Co. $10.99.99 without uh, those upgrades and $12.97.99 with them. $1,400 for the Champion Drum Smoker with that $250 flat uh, shipping rate. Uh, and then lastly, the Gateway there, $8.94 with that $95 shipping for the flat paint. $9.94 with the sizzle. Uh, then if you got those upgrades, it's $1,101 and $1,201 respectively. Uh, so, you know, um, overall, the gateway is going to win, uh, strangely enough, you know, I don't know if it looked like that all the way going through, um, but for price, yeah, the price is going to be lower there if you don't get the upgrades. If you do, you know, uh, I guess um, the base model of the Double O Drum Co. would be a little bit less than uh, the upgraded gateway. Um, but yeah, I guess it's kind of a question of what you want. You know, the pro series started off at, with the, the highest price. So maybe it makes sense that it should win. Um, you know, I couldn't make these as equal or even as I wanted to. Um, so, uh, you know, take this for what it is and, uh, whatever your priorities are, you know, maybe, maybe you get a, a much better price there up North. If you're closer to Buckeye. Uh, maybe that Venturi tube really um, catches your fancy, so you want to go with Double O Drum Co. Not really definitive answer, I think, on this one. Uh, so uh, take it as you will. All right, and now we have the premium ones here. Start off with those prices, thirteen ninety nine for the first two, and then you know I've added on those extras uh, for the Buckeye upgraded to make it fully upgraded. And it's got the 909.97 there. Um, yeah, so uh, that price is better than the other two. Uh, but go further, 1489 uh, when you add the shipping, 1649. Still, with that 450 that I added, um, it's, it's still 1359.97 to be in, in uh, North Carolina. Uh, still wins, strangely enough. All right, uh, door place tie. Um, half the door is covered with a heat shield and the door is placed low. I haven't given a whole lot of love to the cotton gin smokers in this episode, but this is one place 
I think they did right. I think uh, I think the door does need to be up a little bit higher, you know, especially if you're going to have a heat shield. Three great levels, laser cut great, two levels and uh, greats. Um, originally, they they had the adjustable grade system on their website. Apparently, he's having a little trouble with that. Um, so hopefully he gets it figured out. Uh, maybe the, by the time you see this episode, maybe he has, um, but currently not offering it. Two grades and positions, I believe, for the upgraded Buckeye. All right. So um, paint jobs. Mostly the door, from what I saw on Facebook. There's no internet option. You can't. You're going to have to call them if you want if you want a custom paint job for the Harvester. Uh, custom paint job is standard with the Champion. Uh, it mentions it for the Buckeye, but I haven't seen any pictures of custom paint. Um, but, you know, if you can get a hold of them, whereas I could not, maybe you can get the custom paint. Huh, you know, maybe if you buy the smoker, maybe that's when when they'll answer your emails. All right. Yeah, the custom paint job is going to win there. All right. Rib hangers included uh, for all except for maybe that Buckeye. Don't know what the equipment hooks are. Uh, you know, it goes back and forth in my mind. Uh, I do not know if those are rib hangers. Doesn't sound like it though. I don't know why I want to think that they are. Oh well. <laughs> All right. Smallest wheels on that cotton gin. Um, they do come off of it a little bit though, so that's helpful. The back handle there to make for easy wheelbarrowing. Uh, it seems like you know they've positioned it so that the side handle on the Buckeye can be used sort of to to pull it down. Like they you know they've twisted it to the side there, and maybe maybe that's smart. You know, um, the side handle at the back. Um, so definitely silver props for the Buckeye on that. And then uh, heat diffuser sear plate. Already talked about that for the Harvester plenty enough. Also, how much I like uh, the Champion's tuning plate. Whether or not uh, their uh, diffuser sear plate is the same as the Cotton Gin. That's what it looked like in the pictures. All right. Of course, uh, yeah, the champion's going to win there. And they have a bottle opener on the champion. Uh, I would give the win to the champion. That's just me. Uh, you know, if I was going to get it, I would try to talk them into putting the access door a little bit higher. All right, my thoughts. All these smokers are probably going to make you some really good barbecue. Hunsacker has got a lot of value. Um, the Oklahoma Joe, a lot of value. I've still got that link down in the description. Uh, the Uncle Pookie, I like it a lot. I like, uh, you know, how it's one guy making this thing, uh, spreading his barbecue love by creating a smoker that is very well priced. I like that Venturi uh, hot shot tube for the Double O Drum Co., I like the art, you know, that is put into every one of these champion smokers. And I really love that tuning uh, plate. Uh, Gateway, I don't give them a whole lot of love. I guess they're all right, uh, you know. Uh, as far as for what they are, they uh, seem to be, you know, on the, the lower price, especially with shipping. Uh, a lot of people have them, and I guess they like them. Uh, Buckeye, I really wish they would have answered my emails. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about them. Cotton gin. Uh, yeah, I didn't give them a whole lot of love, but, uh, you know, they could be a good option too, if, if that's what you want. All right. Those are my thoughts. All right. And as always, please add your review. Do you have one of these drum smokers? You know, let us know, uh, tell us if it's good or bad or what, what issues you may have. You know, uh, thank you all for being an amazing barbecue community out there. And uh, yeah, go get your smoke on.